We turn now for a look at our weather. If you were out and about tonight, you may have noticed some lightning across the sky and some heavy downpours in parts of the area. Right, yes. I saw a little bit of, of it when I stepped out. So It was beautiful. It was. It was as long as it wasn't damaging. Yes, and it wasn't. <laughs> it really wasn't. It was not severe. That's what Good. we like to see. But the nice rainfall was certainly around with those storms. So as we move on now into the later portion of our night, the thunderstorm activity is waning, but the showers are sticking around. So we will continue to watch as some rain falls, most of it on the lighter side. Had some really nice heavy downpours, though, with the storms earlier this evening. And that's with that complex moving inland, as we were talking about, from the Gulf. You can see where that rain is coming uh, from the Gulf and really pushing off to the north northwest, kind of rounding out into the Metroplex. Heaviest rain now pushing closer to the Red River. So you can really see as things. Things have unfolded, the heavier rain starting to diminish, and now we'll be left with some scattered light showers the rest of the night. Where you've got some moderate showers, really some riding all along uh, I-45, Corsicana, Waxahachie getting in on some of that heavier rain. And then as we push a little bit further northwest, Graham into Jack County getting in on some of the heavier leftover rain as well. Later tonight, though, most of that rain is going to be on the lighter side. In fact, once we get into Wednesday, we do keep mention of rainfall, but it's much lower rain chances. In fact, across the Metroplex, only a 20% chance of some very light stray showers with this system. They're working their way off, though, tomorrow afternoon. Second half of the day will be drier. The clouds will linger, but by Thursday, starting to see some sunshine back. And again, the good news here, we really could use the rain, and we've gotten some good downpours most across the area, anywhere from half of an inch up to an inch of rain, and really North Texas, almost the entire region, abnormally dry, so benefiting from the rainfall tonight. Temperatures cooler. They're going to hold steady tonight, mid to upper 70s. Currently, Dallas 76, 77 Fort Worth, Cleburne at 73 degrees. Not quite as humid, but of course, we will continue with this trend of abnormally warm conditions the next several days. Once we're drying out Thursday, Friday, high pressure building back in. Weekend forecast mainly dry, watching two fronts. The first one coming in Saturday, just a 20% chance of rain as we get into Saturday along the Red River. A much stronger front starts to push in by Tuesday of next week, and that's the one that's going to be stronger, really making a difference on those temperatures as 70s are in the forecast for daytime highs by the middle of next week. So hang on. Fall temperatures are around the corner once again if we can get through some warm days. Tonight, 73. Tomorrow, 87. Looking ahead to the next seven days, near 90 degrees. I like what I see, though, Tuesday, guys, in the 70s.